I have a word of encouragement for you today. It's all about helping all of us to be reminded that we're here for a reason. None of us are here by chance. And I go back to the words of the prophet Jeremiah when he's beginning his marvelous book. He writes that the word of the Lord came to him saying, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I sanctified you, I ordained you to be a prophet to the nations. That little verse has a tremendous wealth of truth and encouragement. He begins by saying that the Lord told me I was born for a reason. He says, the Lord says, I formed you in the womb. Let me remind all of us that there was a third person, a third power involved in the womb where you were being formed. Your mom and dad gave you a physical DNA, but God was present there. God was doing his work. He was working in the womb as well. And he was doing his work and fulfilling his plan. He says, I formed you. It's over in the, the Psalm of David, the 139th Psalm, where he begins the 13th verse by saying these words. And he's talking to God. He says, you formed my inward parts. You covered me in my mother's womb. I see a picture there. The inward parts are the parts that you can't see. That's the soul and the spirit of all of us. And Lord, you, you formed those inward parts and then you covered me. You put that covering of flesh over me. So that's how, how it works. God was involved as the third person in all of our coming into being. He says, God says, I formed you. And he says, I knew you. It has taken science a long time to, come to understand that all of us have a, a physical DNA, to get to know our DNA. Well, do you know that you have a spiritual DNA as well? Your soul is unique like no other, just as your body is. And God knows the DNA of your soul. He gave it to you, your soul and your spirit. Before you were born, God says, I not only formed you, not only knew you, I understood and provided that spiritual DNA of who you were to be, he says, but I sanctified you. The word sanctified means to be set apart. And, and I understand that in this context, it's like he equipped us. He set us apart. He determined all that we would need to fulfill all that he had for us to do it. If you ever looked at children and understand or you couldn't understand would be a better way of saying it. How is it that some children have certain gifts and others don't? And yet others have other giftings that the first one doesn't have. We have these innate giftings. And I think sometimes they are a wonderful expression of the spiritual DNA that God put in us to equip us for our purpose for being born. You see a, a little toddler manifesting this uncanny ability to sing or to play or perhaps to express him or herself. Art comes easy. Reasoning comes easy. All those kinds of things that are sometimes resident and very visible and unexplainable in little ones. To me, I think they're a wonderful reminder that God, the Holy Spirit was involved in not just giving us through our mom and our dad, the flesh that we live in, but the spiritual DNA that resides in us. And he begins to equip, equip us while we're still in the womb for plans and purposes that he has later in life. And as we grow and mature and we recognize our giftings, begin to operate in those and begin to allow them to be developed and grow, God has tremendous things he can do through all of us. You were born for a reason. And not only equipped, but he says, I ordained you. To me, that means assignment. Do you know you're here by a heaven sent assignment? None of us are here by chance right now. What an amazing moment of time we live. But I would suppose any of us could have been born two, three, four hundred, or five hundred, or a thousand years ago. But God has a purpose while you're here today. You are born for a reason. I, I love the, la the later words in this 139th Psalm again of David. When he's talking and thinking about God, he says, Your eyes saw my substance before it was formed. Wow. And he says, And in your book, 
Everything about me is already written. And he says specifically, the days that are fashioned for me when as yet none of them had come to be. Before you were born, God determined that you would be present this day. The scripture says he gives us life and he gives us breath. If you're breathing, it's because God has a plan for you. If you're breathing, he's not done with you yet. There's a reason. These are amazing days with tremendous, tremendous potential and opportunity for all of us. Let's not miss what God has for us to do, what he'd have us to do. I was 19 years old, seems like a long time ago now, but it really wasn't that long. I was 19 years old when I began my formal training for full-time ministry. And uh, when I arrived at the college, I had the opportunity to hear the greatest preacher I ever heard preach. And Dr. Leonard Hero preached that night to the student body that was arriving and seniors and sophomores and that were returning. He talked about the fact that Jesus understood why he came. And Jesus did before Pilate, he said, for this cause I came into the world, for this reason I was born, that I might bear witness of the truth. I went back to my room that night. I didn't consider myself to be a songwriter, but for some reason I felt I had a song coming up in me, in my mind and in my spirit. And uh, over the next couple of days, I wrote a song entitled Born for a Reason. And uh, that song became a very much, much part of our class in college in those days. And my sweetheart's over there right now, and she just started to play little parts of it. I began the first verse, and I won't quote all of it tonight, but just when you see a world full of hate and war, you wonder sometimes just what we're living for. But God has a purpose for everyone's life, even in a world that is, as it was then and still is today, full of fear and strife. And I went on to sing the chorus that said, I was born for a reason, not just by chance. God has a purpose for letting my breath last. I said at the beginning of this uh, time together today, and I want to encourage you. So I want to sing these words. You were born for a reason. Not just by chance God has a purpose for letting your breath last if you seek him you will find it he will see God bless you. Have a great day.